Here are the stories you need to know before you go. Police in East Texas are searching for a two-week-old baby they say is missing. Sunny Malike is believed to be with her mom, Sylvia Norman. Norman does not have custody of the baby girl. The two-week-old was last seen in Livingston. That's about an hour northeast of Houston. She was wearing a pink shirt and diaper. Her mother was last seen wearing a white shirt, blue shorts with white leggings underneath. Norman also has tattoos on her back and left arm. And Fort Worth crews battled a large warehouse fire near Cullen Street. At Highway 199, firefighters tell us stockpiled hand sanitizer helped fuel these flames. At least one firefighter was taken to the hospital to be evaluated. Arson investigators were on scene, but there is no word just yet on what caused this fire. An investigation is ongoing. We now know the winners of this year's Nobel Peace Prize, and while it wasn't Fort Worth native Opal Lee, she says she's not done yet. At a watch party this morning, the grandmother of Juneteenth encouraged young people to see what she has accomplished and keep working for change. It also happened to be her 96th birthday. And happy birthday. Now we are less than two weeks away from the start of the NBA regular season. The Dallas Mavericks have another tune-up game tonight. They're welcoming the Orlando Magic to town for the second of three games on their preseason slate. Tip-off for the matchup is at 7.30 at the AAC. Okay, 6.58. Let's check in with Samantha. Got a busy morning's traffic delays out there, Sam. That's right. And I-30 westbound remains shut down at Galloway right as you approach 635. This is our camera at Broadway Boulevard, and it is just a parking lot on I-30 right now. Delays are extending back towards Lake Ray Hubbard. So I would bail off the highway, work some of your side streets, or I know it's a little out of the way. I'd maybe try using Highway 80 instead. There's only some light to moderate uh, delays building there. We do have a new problem spot in Fort Worth. There is an accident, 35W, in the northbound direction direction at Heritage Trace. This is causing a delay almost back towards North Loop 820. It is 659. It feels good outside this morning. We're going to toss it to Adrian for a look at your forecast. Yeah, it does feel good outside this morning. You may want the light jacket to start the day this morning, but uh, this afternoon you certainly won't need it. But temperatures currently sitting in the 50s and 60s across many locations. We do have mostly clear skies out there as we're getting the day going. That trend going to continue as we look for mostly sunny skies out there this afternoon. High temperatures going to be topping out into the mid and upper 80s behind the cold front that arrives today. We're looking very pleasant as we head through the weekend. Saturday's high at 80 degrees. We're at 84 on Sunday with a good deal of sunshine. We'll start to see those numbers work their way back up as we get into next week, guys. All right. Thank you, Adrian, and thank you so much for waking up with us. We'll have some more updates for you here at 725. Absolutely, but don't go anywhere just yet. The Today shows up next. Hoda and Savannah have some money saving advice when it comes to your holiday travel plans, whether you plan to fly or drive to your destinations this year. So stay with us. Today's show's next. Make it a great day, everybody.